Alrighty, my dudes, we are back here in D12. I have replicated that uh, island that is in D12, the Power Stone Island, into my server. And I wanted to show you guys how to solo kite these hydras. So uh, I kind of got tired of waiting for everybody to be there as a team to do these Power Stones, which are, you know, some of them are far away from home. Uh, not everybody has the same schedule. So I went ahead and tried to solo it. And I started to realize you can actually drown these hydras save your ballista bolts if that's how you're doing it and uh and do a solo but there are a couple things i want to show like this there are a couple things i want to show you guys here and um killing the hydra is only like kiting it and and getting it to your boat is only half of uh this whole challenge now the first half would I, i'd have to say it's definitely traversing the terrain uh surviving the animals and the flyers, those stupid leather wings, snipe them if you see them, uh, and and just dealing with the environment here at the Power Stone Island. So if you're not fully equipped with climb picks, let me show you my inventory. I'll show you how I have uh, my setup right now. So I've got my carbine, two uh, pistols, which I don't even use the pistols, uh, really a sword, uh, two climb picks sometimes i'll even carry an extra climb pick in my inventory just in case i'm really out for a little while uh, a grapple hook a lantern spyglass a couple of gliders you really only need one uh, and two water jar i would definitely bring two water jars uh, as far as ale if you guys want like a damage reduction or something bring some grog or some ale or or whatever and of course some ammo for your gun now since i'm in my server i do have a mythical set here this is not official uh, I don't think, yeah, I actually only have one stone here in my server. In official, I did collect all of them. Five of them were soloed, uh, so you guys can do this. You just have to practice getting good with the glider. If you're not very good at gliding, I wouldn't recommend this. I would recommend practicing with the glider. Uh, definitely firsthand before doing this, guys, really. That's, that's like, you're going to have to use the glider here. That's how you cut the Hydra, so. Anyway, speaking of the boat. Uh, I did kill, this is how to drown the Hydra. I'm gonna go through and kite it anyway and show you guys where to find it here. But uh, if you guys don't want to uh, drown it, which is actually a little bit easier, if you guys actually wanna go ahead and spin your bolts and fight it legitimately and kill it, then I would recommend ballistas. They do quite a bit of damage. Some people do back cannons. If you guys wanna do cannons on the back, then whatever floats your boat. But uh, the harpoons work just fine for us and it keeps them, uh, Keeps going just stick some ai back there and you're good so anyway i'm gonna go ahead and head inland and in some of these islands you're gonna see some predators like wolves maybe gorgons uh, stuff like that here at the beach so if that's ever a problem for you just get on the wheel if you have ai back there uh, and just select your targets and make the ai shoot down whatever enemies you need out of your way before you start this so uh, we're gonna be dealing with uh, army the dam spawns too so like I said you're gonna run in here probably immediately with your climb picks out and get to the highest mountain just just climb up the, the highest like the next the closest mountain I guess not the highest necessarily uh, first I guess I should show you guys where I park so we're in d12 this is the d12 island right here I know it says a1 I'm in my server like I said uh, I am NOT in God mode or anything this is all legit Oh, I did forget my food. I'm gonna run back to the boat and get food. But anyway, so there's usually a Hydra spawn right here. I think the city is maybe, uh, I wanna say the city might be over here somewhere. I'm not sure. Anyway, this spot right here, it's nine times out of 10 gonna have the Hydra right here. It's just inland from us. So, uh, you know what? I think I should be good without food. I wouldn't try this in official uh, or anywhere else without that food though. You're gonna need food as you're climbing a lot. And with climbing, good stamina helps. Watching your stamina and having a higher stamina allows you to get up these peaks. Uh, because if you're climbing too much, you'll start to wear yourself out and you might fall off and die before you're at the top of the mountain. So, uh, so yeah, anyway, it's glider time. So with our climb picks out, let's glider over to the next nearest mountain. The Hydra's right over there. We can actually see it if we scope in. Maybe you guys can see that. Yep, the Hydra. Center head, left head, right head. All right. That's it. So make sure you have your climb picks out. Hopefully you're good with the glider. Just glide over to the next mountain. Right at the last second, I like to kind of dip up a little bit and latch onto the mountain, climb to the top. Just watch your stamina when you're climbing. Some of these mountains are really, really high. And sometimes you'll have to find whatever kind of resting spot you can 
to get this done. So I'm in range of the Hydra now, so if I snipe it, uh, it's going to start walking at me. And I'm going to click the reload before I fly off. And I'm going to fly actually over probably that way to that cliff, just to make sure it doesn't de-aggro. I kind of want to stay close to its face while it's coming at me because I need it to get to the boat. Uh, yeah, so if I can get it to the boat, I should be good. But it's going to take a couple of snipes here, so just be careful. This thing doesn't have huge range. Uh, and it, the, the, the longest range that it does have are projectiles that you can see coming towards you easy So it, they're super easy to dodge uh, But just try not to land on the ground like if you're on the ground and that thing's coming after you It's gonna suck you up. It's way faster than you All right guys, I'm not gonna lie. I just spent like 20 extra freaking minutes trying this I failed like three or four times then I finally got it to the ship and was kiting it out and everything was going well And I was like, all right cool. We're doing good and uh, it started raining and storming, cyclones. Uh, I de it and then it got lost. I couldn't see where it went under the water because it started walking away. I guess I de it too close. I'm not sure if I was out of range or not of its like tether distance to its spawn location. So uh, yeah, I don't know what happened, dude, but I had to wait for another one to spawn. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so anyway, we're gonna try this again hopefully this one goes right i still don't have any food on me so we're gonna attempt this it's on the boat so i mean worst case i can get it on the boat i do recommend you guys bringing food with you out here though while you're doing this and like i said a little bit of alcohol uh won't hurt it'll decrease damage uh dealt to you so we're gonna try this again i'm hoping it'll go all right this time maybe maybe i won't die maybe it will kite all the way back I'm going to try to zigzag back to the boat so it stays on me. I see, I think it already de just when I flew over here. Oh, he smacked me. He actually got me. Go, Bodhi. Go, go, go. Just shoot the Hydra head as soon as he gets over here. Make the AI shoot him so he stays mad at the boat. Then you have time to head out. He's not going to do a whole lot of damage, but if you're unlucky, he will take out an AI or two when he's shooting that at you. But good news is once you get him out here deep enough in the water where he's swimming, he cannot do his elemental attacks anymore. So just kite him on out. Oh god, am I stuck on a reef? Oh, I thought I was stuck on shallows, dude. <laughs> that would not be cool. Uh, anyway, so I've got my schooner actually leveled up in damage to 200%, so he's doing damn near twice the damage uh, that I would usually be doing. I think usually it's like in the 200-300 range. Now I'm hitting 500s easy. Uh, but yeah, if you want to save your bolts here, just hit him every like 20 seconds, you'll be fine. Just count to 20, uh, shoot him once, because we're going to kite him. Oh, there's the other Hydra. I found the other Hydra. What? This is nonsense. The other Hydra is still out here. Oh my god. This is not... Okay, well, this is not something that would happen in official. This is kind of a... I mean, I guess it could happen. Honestly, if you sit here and wait for that one to die... That one's drowning right now. So, that's what I'm going to show you guys with this Hydra here in just a second. So, what that one's doing is what we want it to do. Uh, it's stupid that just... That's, that's so dumb. I hate that it was raining. I couldn't see anything, dude. I totally lost it. I was doing circles over here. I couldn't even find it. It's foggy and uh, raining with cyclones. So, anyway, let's keep this show on the road. I want to make sure this thing's headed away from the island, just to make sure it's out of its little tether distance to its spawn. And I mean, I'm shooting it more often than I really need to. And if you don't shoot it for about 30 seconds, it's gonna deaggro. So, again, for anybody that may have missed it, the hydra spawn was right here, and I believe the Fountain of Youth or uh, Power Stone Chamber is somewhere. I want to say it's right here. We'll, we'll confirm that in a minute. I'm going to go over there and make sure that's where it is. And I'm going to show you guys me turning it in. Uh, since I'm in my own server, I haven't actually set up the different Power Stones. Uh, you only get the purple one from each island right now. So this isn't an official turn in like a, an official. I do have them all in official just so that's clearly stated. I did solo five Hydras by myself and the rest were done with my team. Um, but yeah, I sold them, turned them in, even with the Drake Islands. You don't even have to kill the Drake to get those Power Stones. All you need to do is uh, kill a Hydra and take that artifact key over to the Drake Islands and you're good. Because I know the Drakes are super hard to kill. Nobody really wants to deal with that. 
Anyway, I think we're far enough out now. I'm going to stop shooting it and let it de-aggro. This thing does do about five knots in the water, so you don't want to go too fast. And once you stop shooting it, it should uh, it should just stop right there facing you and start drowning. It'll start slowly going underwater just like the other one did. And just stop your boat. Once it stops, you should stop and start backing up to it just to make sure. Because the way that the artifact keys work is that you'll... Uh, oh, there we go. It de-aggroed. So I'm going to pull the sails and then start backing up into it just to make sure I'm in range. Because these artifact keys only give it to... Uh, it, to people that are in range of the Hydra when it dies. So if you're out of render distance, I'm not sure what exactly the range is, but I know if you're out of render distance, you're definitely too far. So I want to just back up and make sure I'm pretty close to this thing when it dies. And it, 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 to get the artifact key, you don't have to do any damage to it. You can just be on the bow. You can be in the vicinity. You don't have to have shot it or anything like that. And also, whenever these die... Make sure that you access the inventory and pull out 2,000 Mythos. I'll show you guys here in just a second how that works. Uh, don't hatch it to down. Just access the inventory of the Dead Hydra, and you have 2,000 Mythos waiting for you. So that'll help in blueprints, high-end blueprints and stuff like that. Now, if you did want to shoot this thing down, I did make a video for that, like I said earlier, uh, where we kited it out and actually killed each head and got the artifact key that way but this saves bolts i mean it's a little bit quicker if you don't have the ai on the back it's definitely easier to just drag it out a little bit and drown it i'm not sure if this is going to be patched in the future but i did want to make a video sharing this with any of you guys i know the population of atlas right now for it being in beta on pc uh it's going down a little bit you know it's it's kind of dragging they're making a lot of good changes don't get me wrong but uh, it doesn't change the fact that the population is low and it's hard to get your teammates uh together sometimes or even maybe your allies uh, to do these kinds of things so i just want people to know that this is possible to do solo and you don't have to drown it to do a solo you can bring extra bolts and actually shoot it down the way you're supposed to but i mean why would you go through the extra work but like i said this might be patched one day i don't know i'm not the developers uh i mean it doesn't seem game breaking like i mean it seems like just kind of it doesn't seem like an exploit it just kind of seems like playing the game smart you know like there are some things that are like okay that's that's obviously game breaking. That should be patched. But I don't know if this should be patched necessarily. It's not really like, I don't know. I'll like it. It's cool. Hopefully they don't patch it. <laughs> I guess probably look in the comments section uh, if you're wondering in the future if this has been patched or not. Well, I actually did a number on that head right there. Oh, it's draining right now too. So each head health looks like it seems to be going down. Um, yeah, if you jump in, you can actually be face to face. It's really weird and creepy. But it does not do any damage, and you can be face-to-face -face with it. I have a thing where it's like kind of freaking really creepy to be in water uh, in some of these games. And to be in the water in front of a Hydra, it's kind of, I don't know, it's really freaky. But if you come down here and access the inventory, you will see 2,000 Mythios waiting for you. We have killed a Hydra. We are getting the orange Power Stone today. I'm not sure what dance comes with this. I think this is like... Maybe number like five or six, I think. I don't I'm not sure what I can't remember what power stone this is. I can't remember what dance comes with it. I can show you an official. I have all the dances in official. <laughs> I like to boast about that because I did half of it by myself and I feel cool. So yeah, when you're the only person of your team uh soloing these things. Make sure to give your boy a, a, a like and at least like a, throw me a comment or something saying I helped you or something made me feel better because I'm out here, boys. I'm really out here. <laughs> All right, so I found the uh, chamber. I do remember this island more clearly now that I found it. It was over here on the east side, but it wasn't exactly the one I thought it was. I thought it was the one that went into the mountain with like a little hidden staircase, but it's actually the one in the city that you go like around this thing. So anyway, come over here to the east side. Right here at this little area right here. I'm just going to anchor like that. And, um, yeah, I don't know, dude. Maybe, uh, um, screw it, dude. It's, well, yeah, I'm going with gear in. I'm going to god mode. I just want to show you guys where this chamber is. Uh, I showed you guys how to traverse the place, how to kite the Hydra. And I just want to show you guys where the chamber is. So I do have the key, I believe. Yep, the artifact keys right here. 
I'm going to go ahead and go into God mode now so I don't die showing you guys this. Go into GCM mode as well. There we go. So, yep, you saw where I landed. We're just going to head straight inland. Again, I always make this run naked. I never bring gear on me because you're pretty much bound to die, uh, really. Like like I said, if, if, you, if you didn't come here with patience, then you came unprepared. Like, that's... That's the number one tool you need here on this island is patience. So uh, it definitely extra patience when turning in these power stones. So just head inland. You see this big building here. We're going to have to go around that and around this building. Now, some people go to the left. I want to show you a trick when going to the right. Now, I've noticed an official people actually uh, have put up. And I'm not sure who it was. I didn't see who it was. Oh, there's a razor claw. Those razor claws. Oh, there. That's Cyclops. Both of those are bad. Okay, so I noticed in official people are actually putting up zip lines uh, from certain spots to other like little places that will help you uh, get to the chambers faster without getting hurt. And I've noticed a lot of zip lines in this area. In official, some of them go all the way from like that mountain to this mountain. And if, basically, if you're on this mountain, if you took the right that I did. You'll be right above the chamber. So if you went left around that, you'll have to still go through this valley. And that's where all the ads spawn. That's where you're going to see last minute rock elementals and cobras and shit like that pop up out of nowhere. Army of the Dam. So if you, you want to get as close to the, uh, the chamber as you can, which is right here. So we're going to drop down in here and haul ass. If you made it this far, just haul ass. I'm going to put my lantern on. Like I said, usually in official, I run this naked. So make sure you crouch right here. It's gonna be really hard for you to see once you get in there unless you have your gamma raised. So uh, hook a right, we're gonna hook a right, hook another right immediately. <coughs> Go across the bridge. The sparkle is the fountain of youth and this is the power stone. You'll click E on it and it will give you the power stone. Like I said, I don't have it set up on my server yet to give me everything. Um, but this is a mess, Dude, you're pretty much gonna die. Nobody really hardly ever makes it out of here. Unless you got lucky and nothing actually spawned on you, uh, usually you turn the power stone in. A book pops up showing you something, some kind of lore about the stone, and then you die. But usually you die before the book even pops up. Like <laughs> it's kind of ridiculous sometimes. But anyway, that's the power stone. Uh, that is how to solo the D12 Hydra. Hopefully you guys got something out of this video. I know a lot of you guys probably just clicked on this to see the Hydra spawn and the chamber location. Uh, so sorry for dragging it on if that's all you're looking for, but I wanted to show you guys uh, I know there are a lot of people out there that are not very comfortable with Power Stone Islands that are still learning the game maybe or um, I've just never even tried before and I wanted to Reassure those guys that they can do it. Um, you guys can do this solo. It's not a big deal uh, The biggest thing in officials if you're in PvP is looking out for other people's boats obviously a lot of people like to troll the uh, Power Stone Islands and sink people's boats because they're c**ts. and uh, <laughs> yeah, those people, uh, uh f them. Anyway, dudes, hopefully you guys don't this video. Keep an eye out for other videos where I show you guys different here in Atlas, and I'll catch you guys on the flip-flop.